Okay, in this problem we have the differential equation, the second derivative of y with respect to t, plus 10 times the first derivative of y with respect to t, plus 25y is equal to zero. And we're given the initial conditions y1 is equal to zero and y prime of one is equal to one. So this is a second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, and it's an initial value problem. We're trying to find a particular solution that satisfies both this equation and these initial conditions. And so the first thing we're gonna do is find the characteristic equation. I'll rewrite it here. So I have y double prime plus 10y prime plus 25y is equal to zero. Now the characteristic equation, we can just read off the coefficients. So we get r squared plus 10r plus 25 is equal to zero. I'm trying to solve this for r. We can factor the left-hand side. This gives us, it's a perfect square, trinomial, and that means this is r is negative five. And we only got one root here. This is so in other words, it's a repeated root. And so our general solution in this case is gonna be y of t, right, this is our general solution. It has a constant, c1 times e to the negative five t, right, we, that's the r times t, plus c2, and then we add an extra t factor and then that exponential e to the negative five times t. But this is our general solution. We want to find the particular solution that satisfies those initial conditions. And so the first condition is y1, y1 is equal to zero. So if I plug in one into y of t, I'm going to get c sub one times e to the negative five, right? We multiply the t, it being one and then c sub two times one times e to the negative five times one is equal to zero. And I'm gonna simplify this by multiplying both sides by e to the five, t, uh, yeah, sorry, e to the five, or you can think of it as dividing both sides by e to the negative five, and so I get c one plus c two is equal to zero, nice and simple. Now we can't solve for c one or c two just yet, so we have to use the second condition, which is y prime of one is equal to one. So that means we have to find the derivative of our general solution, which we use for the first term, we use the chain rule. We get negative five times C1 e to the negative five T. And the second term, we need to actually use the product rule because we have a T multiplied by that exponential function. So I'll just do it here. First function times the derivative of the second, which we use the chain rule there, plus the second function times the derivative of the first. So we get that. And then I can do a little bit of simplification here. Uh, take this negative five and put it out in the front. So I'll get negative five C2 times T e to the negative five T. Okay, so then we know that Y prime of one has to be equal to one. That's again, going back to our initial condition in the top right corner. And so if I plug in one into this derivative, I get negative five C1 e to the negative five minus five C2 times one times e to the negative five, and plus C2 times e to the negative five is equal to one. Okay, so this is, again, it's equation only involving C1 and C2, but it's kind of messy, so again, I'll divide, or mul I'll multiply both sides by e to the five, and so I'll get negative five C1 minus five C2 plus C2, is equal to e to the five and, and uh, simplify the left-hand side, I get negative five C1 minus four C2 is equal to e to the five. Okay, so now again, this is our second equation. Back up here, oops, back up here was our first equation. So now we have two equations and two unknowns and so we can solve for both C1 and C2. So first off, I'll take the first equation and I'll, I'll so solve for C2, so I get C2 is negative times C1. And then I'm gonna substitute that into the second equation, negative four times negative C1. And so the left-hand side simplifies to negative C1 is equal to e to the five, and so that means that C1 is negative e to the five. And going back to our first equation, C2 is the negative of C1. So in other words, C2 is the negative of negative e to the five. 
In other words, C2, C2 is positive e to the 5. So now we have solved for both of our initial, both of our coefficients. And so we go back, remember this was our general solution here. Now all we have to do is plug in our coefficients, and so we get y of t is negative e to the 5 times e to the 5t, or the negative 5t, plus e to the 5t e to the negative 5t. Again, I just plugged in my c1 and my values of c2. And this is a final answer, but we can do a little bit of simplification by combining the exponentials here. And so we end up with negative e to the 5, right? When you multiply exponentials, you add their exponents. And again, here I get t e to the 5 minus 5t. And so this right here is our final answer.